Hi, how are you? This is Archbishop Sok Villegas. I'm greeting you from the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan, and welcome to The Light of Faith. The question is about humility. We are asked, what is humility? St. Augustine was asked, what are the three requirements for us to be able to go to heaven? And St. Augustine answered, the first is humility, the second is humility, the third is humility. St. Bernard of Clairvaux was asked, what are the three cardinal virtues? What are the three important virtues of Christianity? And he answered, the first is humility, the second is humility, the third is humility. Humility is the crown of all virtues. Humility is recognizing that everything is a grace from God. Humility does not, always, does not mean rejecting yourself. It does not mean uh, kicking down yourself. It does not mean stepping down on yourself. Rather, it means recognizing that everything that is in you is a gift from God. That is why St. Thomas Aquinas says, humility is living in truth. And people who live in lies, people who live pretentious and hypocritical, cannot be humble. So what is humility? Three things, my dear brothers and sisters. First, humility is transcendence. Transcendence is being able to look beyond, to look beyond you and put yourself in the right size. Sometimes when we think of ourselves, when we look at ourselves, we think of ourselves too highly. We think of ourselves too importantly. But when you compare yourselves with other people, most likely we'll say, I am better than them. But our standard is Christ. Our standard is Christ, and when we compare ourselves to Christ, we always fall short. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, humility is transcendence, being able to look beyond and to see how small you are. The second thing about humility is humility is truth. Humility is recognizing that I am gifted. Humility is recognizing that you are gifted that I have blessings that you do not have, and you have blessings that I do not have. Humility is living in the truth. If God has given you the talent for singing, use it to glorify God. If God has given you the gift for speaking, speak for God. If God has given you a beautiful face or an intelligent mind, use everything, recognize everything as a gift from God. That is living in the truth. People who live in lies, People who live in make-believe are proud people eventually. The third T about humility is that humility is always thankful. Humility is always recognizing that everything is a gift. That is why one of the marks of a truly humble person is that they are ready and always available for giving thanks. The willingness to recognize that everything is a blessing from God. Thanksgiving. When I was in grade 3, our teachers taught us this point. Hearts like doors will open with ease, with very, very little keys. But don't forget the two of these are, thank you, sir, and if you please. Saying thank you opens hearts of many. Saying thank you opens many doors for blessings for us. Saying please is an act of respect. Saying please is also an act of humility. It is an act of gratitude because everything is a grace from the Lord coming through one another. There you are, my dear brothers and sisters. Walang mayabang sa langit. The only way to go to heaven is the path of humility. 
and Jesus showed us the height of humility by stooping down to wash his disciples' feet. Humility is transcendence. Humility is truth. Humility is thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, humility is the crown of all virtues. If you have love, but you are proud, love will crumble. If you have faith, but you are arrogant about your faith, people will not believe you. If you have hope, but you are proud, you are holding on to nothing because humility is clinging to God and recognizing that everything is His grace. Thank you for listening to The Light of Faith. I invite you to send in your questions, your inquiries, your faith sharing, and we would be glad to broadcast them here and answer your questions here. Thank you very much. God loves you very much.